Guys, welcome to today's video. This is actually uh, the day after I started editing it and I discovered that there were some issues that I wasn't fully aware of and if you're new here and you may be, I just wanted to say I don't have air conditioning and I shoot with my door open to get a lot of sunlight in here. That's most of my light. I do have another light right here and one right here to kind of even it up since this light just comes on this side of the face. So doors open, which means if it's not a quiet day, you can hear stuff. And my neighbor, three doors down, was having some work done. And I wasn't, a, I didn't realize while I was shooting that you could really, really hear that. So you hear some hammering. It won't be the whole time. You will absolutely hear my fan, which I had on, on a higher range than I do right now. I don't have air conditioning. And it's just the way it is, you guys. I, I don't have, um, I'm not lucky enough to have central air and to have an ideal uh, setup so I can close everything and you don't hear noise. And I just wanted to explain that. It's not always like that. Today I have the fan on really low, so you can't hear it. You can't hear my LED light. And it's Sunday, so there's no work being done and it's lovely, but it doesn't always work out that way. I can't control too much what's going on right here. So, I'm aware, I apologize, but the content is still the content, and I have some really good comparisons for the Lisa Eldridge newest release, and now we're going to get into my actual intro. Hey guys, today I'm taking a look at the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks I just got. She just released 10 and I bought 8 and I went through all my own personal lipsticks in my collection and uh, we're going to do a little bit of comparisons to see how they look color-wise. So we're not looking for a formula but just color-wise. If you already have it or you know if you are still having a hard time understanding what the colors look like, sometimes comparing it to something else will pull out the nature of the color that you're looking at in the first place, if that makes sense. I know that that's true with me. I do want to lip swatch a couple of things, and I'll be taking off my watch right now, and we'll do some hand swatches. So I have gone through all my stuff and pulled out things that are maybe somewhat similar, and put a rubber band around them, and I have two boxes, one box right in front of me. So let's get into it. We're going to start with the easiest one, which is Palazzo. I got nothing like it. <laughs> it's, it's just that simple. I have a lot of reds, but I don't have any sheer reds. And that is Palazzo. It is, you know, it is a neutral. It's not pink but it's not too warm, it just lies in the middle there. And then sometimes I think, well, there could be a little bit of pink, but there's no blue. I'm just going to do a nice little lippy swatch. And there you have it. It's very, very pretty, and this is a luxuriously loosened, so it's very comfortable, but it's also not long-lasting at all. If you are afraid of color, that formula is a good way to dip your toe in. It's not as glossy as a gloss, you know, so it's not super shiny. I don't happen to love a super shiny lip on me. It looks nice on many people. So it's a great way to just kind of start off getting into the bright colors, and she does have a couple of brights in this formula. This is Palazzo. So I guess I grabbed the box with the brighter colors, which is fine. So this is Strawberry Shock. I'm not going to put this on my lip, but here is what Strawberry Shock looks like. And I have some things, not exactly the same, but similar, you decide. <laughs> this I can't even read, you guys. Even with my magnifying glass, I will have to look online, but this is Rare Beauty. And this is a moussey kind of matte situation. and. They're kind of similar in the family-wise, but the Strawberry Shock is much more dense. It's as if they're the same color, but there's a lot more whiteness in here. So if Super Shock is a little too much for you, 
So let's put this on and you can see. I do love a moussey mat. Yeah, it's very, very similar, except it has more white in it. It's not as intense. And again, I'll put the name right here. Now, this is a shade from Dries van Noten. Again, I'll be writing the names down. And it's right here. The intensity is very, very similar. But the Dries shade, I think it's called Antique Red, is much more warm. Almost, um, almost, well, an orangey undertone. Now this is a limited edition I don't think is around anymore, so if you happen to have bought this, this is Kelly from NARS, and it looks very similar to me. I would say that this one, uh, Strawberry Shock, is a little bit darker than Kelly, and this has a little bit more vibrancy. It almost is neon in its nature. I'm just going to put it on. And that's Kelly by NARS, which was a limited edition, but it reminded me a lot of Super Shock. Kelly, not Super Shock, Strawberry Shock. Kelly and Strawberry Shock. So this is the Dior Addict in 673 right here. And again, these all kind of have a similarity to them, but they're just different degrees of white or depth. And this one is probably, it's a different formula for sure, but probably not as dark and might, it depends on how I'm turning my head, my hand. If this has the reflection on it, it looks different. And then here I'm like, okay, there's no reflection. It looks very, very similar to me. I'm just gonna put this on too. This is extraordinarily comfortable, you guys, but I think the issue that, I don't know, for me personally, I might have with a formula like this being so bright is I would be afraid that it would kind of end up all over the place. Uh, but I think they're super similar. I'm going to put on the Strawberry Shock and do a side to side. So I'm just going to kind of sit here and smile. The Dior side. So here is the Strawberry Shock. And you know, several people have asked me if I've had problems with these breaking. I have not, but I really go down as far as I can, and today putting this on, I could feel it move. It was moving around. It hasn't broken, but it's moving around a little bit. As a worth noting, it's matte. It will stay. It won't get all over your face. And then I have one more to look at. So this is from Brayedo, and it's called Subtropical, and it's right here. And I would say all of these are kind of relating to each other, but this is not looking like it's the same as Strawberry Shock. And this formula is also not my favorite formula. I, I don't like these. I love the packaging. They're elegant, really beautiful. I think that's the way to do it. Heavy feels lovely, the colors are great, the formula's not my favorite, and this is Strawberry Shock. And I do really, really like it. New wave, new wave. I love this. I've always loved things that have a bluish tone to them, but they're very hard to find. And I have tried some that just don't quite do it for me. The one that really did it for me, there's something about this color it's a little bit deeper. When I put this on, it's like, pow, what a fabulous color. Unfortunately, this is the Wet n Wild cat suit. <laughs> and you know I'm saying unfortunately because this is extraordinarily trying. So this is their matte. And again, I feel these colors are exactly the same, but this one is darker. This is a liquid lipstick. It will stay for a long time, but it is extraordinarily uncomfortable over this one. And then here we have another from Dries Van Noten, who really did a beautiful lipstick line. You can get them at Selfridges, and I will link them below. And Selfridges does ship to the United States and the Dries Van Noten site as well. This one, however, is much, much lighter in tone. 
but I do believe they are all probably the same color with various levels of white in them. And mm, should I do a lip swatch of this? It might be interesting to put it in the middle. Mm, yeah, that is actually. For me personally, I think this is a very editorial thing to do, to put something slightly lighter in the middle. I talk, I eat, I drink coffee. It's not going to stay in the middle where I put it, but, you know, professional makeup artists will do it for photo shoots because that's kind of their job, is to be on set and making sure, did this stay in the center? Do we still have that pouty look? In real life, no. And it's extraordinarily subtle, but I think you can see that they relate to each other. So, basically what I'm giving you with New Wave is, if you want something darker, it's so uncomfortable. I love it, but it just kills me. Or you want something lighter, but I happen to really like this shade quite a bit. So, the New Wave kind of stained my lips a little bit. I did actually put some foundation on on my lips, but you can still see that bluishness, so I'm not sure uh, if I'm going to do a lip swatch, but this is Je Ne Sais Quoi. And I had said in the video I thought that it looked pink. On my hand, no, I get it, it's a coral. But on my lips, I thought it looked a little pink. Again, this is a luxuriously loosened and not a lot of opacity, very, very comfortable. Putting them over this blue lip, probably not going to do it for me. This is a Cruan. I'm not sure if it's still being made. It seems more vibrant to me, but I do feel like they're kind of maybe the same color with more vibrancy. How people perceive color is very interesting and very different, even myself. When I tried on the Strawberry Shock in the living room, with just living room light, where this room gets a lot of sun. I thought it was more pink when I first tried it on. You just, it's so hard, you guys. So sometimes I feel like, listen to what I'm saying, but also listen to what your eyes are saying. This is Coral Vif from Laura Mercier. It's much more opaque, it's comfortable, it's not a matte. And just turn around a little bit. And when I look at Coral Vif, I don't know. Do I think? There's definitely more pink in this one, for sure, the Grand. But when I compare these two, let's just share this out a little bit and see. It feels like there's more orange than this one. And here's another one that I honestly, I don't know if it's being made anymore. And this is Tom Ford, True Coral, which looks closer, I think, than the Laura Mercier. I'm going to just put this on because it is more vague. It's a beautiful shade. I don't know why Tom Ford doesn't make this anymore. Don't be mad at me for showing you stuff that is discontinued. You might have it too. Night Thoughts. I had said during that video I just don't have anything like it, but I did wonder if Black Cherry, was that what it was called, from Clinique? was similar, and there it is. I do actually have something from Fenty that I believe is the same color, but it's not sheer, because Night Thoughts is a luxuriously lucent. And I'm just gonna show you. <laughs> this is my favorite liquid liquid lipstick formula. And there you go. I believe that these are the same color, just different intensities. Oh, I'm wrong. I think there's more blue in this. I'll just move it around for you a little bit. But completely different formulas. All right, this is Sunday Matinee, which I am wearing on my lips now. And this is the kind of color I'm a little bit obsessed with. I have a lot of ideas here. Years ago, not years ago, a long time ago, months and months ago, I had mentioned that this formula from Charlotte Tilbury is gone, bye-bye. And it's a moussey matte. I happen to love this formula, but I guess not too many people do. And the color is called Too Bad I'm Bad. Or, yeah, Too Bad I'm Bad. I was gonna say, I mix that up with sorry, not sorry. And I love this color, and she just has not repurposed it 
to a different formula. So I was wondering, could this possibly be the same thing? And here it is. I don't think that they are exactly the same. This appears to be darker, but it's super, super similar. And someone else had asked me if I had found anything similar to this one. Not bad. Not bad. So this is Pat McGrath Allure, which I thought was limited edition. It has limited edition packaging, but any time I use it in a video, I'm able to link to it. So it's still around. And golly, but when I put this on, I feel like it's really, really bright. It's right here, and it looks very similar. Again, I'm just moving it around so you can get, you know, undertones and that kind of stuff. The undertone is different. Pat McGrath, Amour. Amour. This one, I believe, has a lot more coolness in it when I look at it in the tube. But this is Tom Ford Indian Rose. Yeah, there's more blue in there. This is old. They've changed the name, but it used to be called Amazing Grace after Grace Kelly. Same kind of thing. I feel like there's a little bit uh, more yellow in that. And I love this shade. So the two shades that I love the most are the Charlotte Tilbury and the Amazing Grace. They're a little bit different. But God, you know, when I look at it this way, they seem very, very similar. Now this is Lisa's Velvet Petal. It's in the matte formula, and it's interesting how very similar they are to each other, but I believe the Velvet Petal has more blue in it. Now this is Wonder Wheel. There's a lot of pink in this, but I feel there's corally, orangey kind of a thing to it as well. And again, I can't, I can't say how many of these are actually still going to be around, but I found this NARS, which I think is very, very similar. Again, there's a lot of reflection to the NARS, so it's hard to tell, but I think they're kind of similar. I want to put this on. It's probably more sheer. And here we have Charlotte Tilbury Miranda May, which is also very similar, but this one is has more of a brightness to it, more of a neon-ish kind of thing going on. And another Laura Mercier. This is Rose Decadent, which is much more opaque. But, uh, you know, just that similar kind of vibrant thing. None of them are formula matches. and None of them are exact matches. This one seems a bit darker, deeper in tone. And my hand has a lot of color to it. I, I, I think my hand is more upset than my lips at this point, but we're going to do Meet Me in Berlin. And this is quite sheer, so I'm just going to build it a bit. And that's Meet Me in Berlin. I'm gonna put this on. Boom. Surprisingly, this might be the one where I have the most, or a lot, far more than I thought I might have for this shade, but this is the kind of color where the undertone makes a huge, huge, huge difference. This undertone is, I would say, might lean cool, but it's definitely not warm, so maybe it's immediately neutral. Gucci Lynette Stone. So this is a luxuriously loosened, and so the finish is very, very similar. But now I feel like there's some redness in this one as opposed to this one. And this one might be a little bit more warm. And that's what these look like. The Merit Lip Oil in Taupe. Look at that. And again, just going to move these around because when the reflection is on them, they kind of look different. I think that is very, very close. The Victoria Beckham in Spice. Now this one I feel might be more warm, but again, it depends on 
if there's shine on it or not. Like here, it looks more warm. The Sicily Beige Eldorado, much more red in this one. This is probably my very favorite lipstick formula. So comfortable and I love the bullet. Now this one I really have to build up a lot too. This is the Dior Satin Balms that they came out recently in 726 and really just imparts the littlest bit of color. But interesting how with this color, the things that I found in my collection anyway, are all kind of a similar formula to the luxuriously loosened. I don't know why I can't say that word. Sometimes I think my tongue is too big for my mouth. And, and maybe it's just me that these colors are more interesting to me in this kind of formula, or maybe not too many people make more opaque lipsticks in this kind of color. I don't know. But got a lot to choose from for that one. More than I thought that I would. None are exact dupes. None. And you guys, I can't believe we made it all the way through. The construction stopped. It's not as hot as I thought it might be today. So yay. Also helps to take a cool shower because that lowers your body temperature beforehand. And yeah, I really hope this was helpful. It, if nothing else, comparing it to other things helps you see what's pulling here. Is it pulling yellow? Is it pulling warmer? Is it too pink? Is it this orange? It just maybe it's helpful for you because it's always hard when you buy online. There's always a question of, is this, is this really the color I think it's going to be? And with some brands, not this brand, but with some brands, it's notoriously horribly off. I'm not naming names, but I'm thinking one. Just listen to my brain. What am I saying? I truly am saying it right now in my brain. Do you know who I'm talking about? That's going to wrap up today's video, you guys. Thanks so much for spending some time with me. I really hope this was helpful for you. That was the point. And I hope you come back again. And I should say this at the beginning. Consider giving the video a thumbs up. Don't even consider it. Just do it. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free. Okay. Until we meet again, be safe and smart. I'm wishing you good health. Go, let's go. <laughs> what? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Ow.